Welcome to Good Morning ACS for the week of the 4th of May. I'm Juliana and you're watching this week's news and updates. We continue to have exciting and very busy weeks. Getting closer to the end of the school year, we remain thrilling and hectic as we're catching up on postponed fall events while juggling the usual spring activities. With final year exams looming and graduation preparation underway, our schedules are packed, but let's persist, tackling tasks gradually each day. We have just 30 more days of school before summer break. We're nearly there. This week is Teachers Appreciation Week. On Sunday, we'll have breakfast, snacks, and reception. On Tuesday, we'll have a superb luncheon in the Maidan, which prizes to give away and a little music. We hope our ACS amazing teachers enjoy this well-deserved week of appreciation that the PSO and our school community has prepared for them. Thank you to all our teachers for all the things you do. This is a reminder to consider a donation to the gratitude boxes. Gratitude boxes are an annual unit of inquiry that result in a community service event. Student involvement and action is an imperative part of the IB Global Goals and Learning. Each student is working towards having a better understanding of empathy, commitment, and respect of others. By taking part in this action, we're able to demonstrate our IB Learner profile of caring and being reflective of the needs of others within their own ACS community and of others globally. Please remember to do your bit. Our security and cleaning staff do a fabulous job, and we want to show appreciation to them. All items can be dropped into the available boxes around the school. You can make your contributions until June 1st. Last weekend, some of our grade 10 and grade 11 students participated in the Vol MUN conference held in Lucille University on the 3rd and 4th of May. Congratulations to our grade 11 student, Dahlia El Ansari, who won the honorable award for her role as a delegate in, of the UAE and the Human Rights Council Committee. And also congratulations to our grade 10 student, Fahad Althani, who won the honorable award representing Germany in the Security Council. Our grade 8 to 11 students went on a trip to London, where they experienced unforgettable moments such as a West End show and a football match at the London Stadium. Students got to pick a path, either the theater and performing arts or the football track. The grade 6 to 7 students went on a camping trip to the UAE, where they learned valuable life skills and survival skills, and had a blast. Upcoming events to enjoy include the piano recital evening on Tuesday, May 7th hosted in the school theater at 5.30, where over 20 students from lower school to middle school will be performing. We invite all families and students to an enchanting evening of delightful music and the arts night on Wednesday, May 8th. Do not miss this great event. Our middle high school students from grades six to grade 11 will showcase their creative and visual artworks completed in the arts, music, and design throughout the academic year. Arts Night opening evening will be held at the MHS I Block, the first floor, on Wednesday, 8th of May, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Please feel free to contact any members of the MHS Arts and Design team if you have any further questions. We hope to see you on Wednesday, 8th of May, to support your students. Embark on a magical journey with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves as we bring this timeless tale to life on stage. Join us for an enchanting experience filled with laughter, friendship, and unforgettable moments. Show times are Friday, May 10th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday, from May, Saturday, May 11th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Tickets are on sale now and can be purchased at the ACS receptionist by credit card. Don't miss your chance to be a part of this captivating production. Gather your family and friends for a magical theater experience that will warm your heart and spark your imagination. A ACS lower school production of The Jungle Book. Tickets are only 40 real and they go on sale May 12th in the lower school reception. Come and support our incredible little actors and actresses. Grade 9 to 12 exams are quickly approaching. Remember to study. Remember to check the official MHS assessment calendar to not miss an important date. Check the study guides of each specific subject to revise, study, and prepare for the final exams. And remember to reach out to your specific subject teachers or your homeroom teacher should you need any help or support. We wish our students lots of luck and success to everyone. Netball. The grade 7 and 8 girls played fantastically well in Tuesday's netball game against Gems Wellington. Unfortunately, the grade 7 girls lost 3-1, while the grade 8 girls won 9-3. Well done to all the girls. Keep up the excellent teamwork. Our next netball match is at home on Tuesday, May 7th at 1 p.m. Under 14 and under 16 versus Pearl Lake. Please come along and support our team. Remember that netball practice is on Sundays 2.30 to 4 p.m. and Tuesdays 12.30 to 2 p.m. in the sports hall. 
the badminton team beat Gems American 7-5 in an under-16 fixture last Sunday. Training is still open for anyone to attend. Grade 6 to 8 badminton training is on Mondays 2.30 to 4 p.m. Grade 9 to 12 badminton is on Tuesdays 1 to 2.30 p.m. The next fixture is scheduled for the 14th of May. We hope you can come and watch and support our team. Welcome to Jokes of the Week. What do you call a can opener that doesn't open? A can't opener. What, you what is a dinosaur with an extensive vocabulary called? A, th a thesaurus. <laughs> Why is an obtuse triangle always frustrated? Do whatever, it's never right. That's all I have for today and I hope you have a great week. Thank you for joining us each week for your, your weekly news and updates. If you have an idea for a news story or updates to share, please email us at goodmorningacs at gmail.com. Have a great week.